How's it going Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly Dapple Willis. Now guys today we have yet another version of Trader Talk. So if you're just tuning in for the first time and you're saying to yourself what the hell is Trader Talk? Trader Talk is basically a segment of my YouTube channel whereby I come on here and put to practice everything you've learned in the Forex market. Yes all the uh, the trend lines and Fibonacci and everything you've been learning so far I come on my charts and I show you guys how to use it in the most realistic way to ultimately what extra consistent profit from the market yes that's what trader talk is all about now guys before I dive into my charts a couple of things I want to share with you guys first things first is the fact that I'm in Lagos Nigeria and this is why this is exactly why I'm so excited I am back in my motherland yes I came to see my family I haven't seen them for two months <laughs> well I miss some you guys who've been following me the longest know that I'm predominantly Nigerian although I live most of my life in the UK um, however I'm back home and then once I'm back in Dubai I'll be flying over to London to also see my other side of the family uh, who is also in the UK as well but for now I am in Lagos Nigeria and I am loving it okay um, so that's one thing the second thing I wanted to share with you guys is the fact that I placed a trade on Friday first of all congrats if you're a Forex mastery student if you're watching this right now give yourself a round of applause because guys I have been seeing the screenshots of the redraw one guy sent me a $15,000 redraw he showed me the redrawal thingy 15k just by being a forex mastery student just by consuming my content so kudos to every single one of you who made money from the forex market over the last few weeks by being a student and actually listen to the things I teach I love you guys very much what makes a teacher happier than to see his students make a lot of money I'm saying people are paying school fees I know I keep saying this in all my videos but every single week you guys keep blowing my mind you know so I wanted to say shout out to you guys uh, and shout out to everybody who's following me on Instagram and Twitter my Twitter just hit 10,000 10, followers right about now you know, I can be quite a menace on Twitter I'm always coming for people if you follow me on Twitter you have a laugh like like and I feel like Twitter is a space whereby I can just basically interact with everybody and have you know a lot of fun but anyways that's by the way I placed the trade on Friday AUD USD has gone on to drop over 120 pips between when I placed the trade and today which is Monday morning now what am I trying to say in essence guys when I was placing this trade on Friday I was thinking to myself you know I feel bad for placing the trade without actually coming to on YouTube to actually tell you guys about the trade because you know you guys are somewhat my responsibility right I want a situation whereby when I'm making money you guys are making money as well now the only way for us to combat and tackle this issue is for you guys to actually be students of the Forex Mastery program why because I noticed something so even before I placed those trades on Friday on AUDUSD Forex mastery students were already predicting the same thing I was predicting as well. So what that simply told me was that they can see what I'm seeing. And guys, we're up 120 pips this morning. So I've made money and so have they. To summarize it all, get yourself the damn program. The link is always around here somewhere so that whenever it is I'm placing a trade in private and I don't have the time to come on YouTube, you guys are also profiting from the trades as well because, because why? You guys understand the way that I trade. The Forex Mastery teaches you guys all of this. This way, like I said, you don't have to wait for me. Let's wait for Dapper Willis. Get yourself the program so that you can be ahead, okay? So that you can start redrawing dollars, US dollars from your bank account and going out there to take care of your family, okay? So that you can be splashing and flying private jet and try business class and doing all the amazing things you want to do once again the link to the program is somewhere around here and I noticed that Nigerians are having issues purchasing the program so we put a pay stack link so that you can pay in your local currency but if you're from anywhere around the world anywhere it is anywhere else the US UK whatever just go and pay in US dollars the link is gonna be right there only Nigerians should use the pay stack link because like I said they're having challenges you know it's not easy in Africa okay so I have to make provision for everybody as well so once again I love you guys very much let's jump into the charts let's see what's cooking I actually have some trades for you guys GBPUSD is about to collapse on his bloody head man you guys type redraw down below if you take GBPUSD short after this video you're gonna make some money so stick around till the very end of this video so that you guys can get to understand what I'm looking at in GBPUSD and ultimately make some money all right guys now let's go How's it going traders? Welcome inside of my screen. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm doing this from my laptop, right? I'm usually used to doing this from my iMac in my office in Dubai, but the screen looks a bit smaller, but I mean, we can definitely make this work, right? So once again, guys, welcome inside of my screen. It's amazing to have you guys here. I haven't dropped a video in maybe about 10 days now because uh, actually what happened was, guys, before I do anything, okay, before I say anything else, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, do it right now, okay? Because the problem I have with most people is, as at the time when these videos drop, you guys only get to see it much, much later, right? You guys only get to see it much, much later. But if you're subscribed to the channel, you guys get the, the instant notification. So I'm going to give you five seconds to smash the subscribe button right there. Smash it. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go, okay? So once again, guys, welcome inside of my screen. So um, without any further ado, let's jump into the charts. So the very first thing I wanted to speak about is AUDUSD. Now, why do I want to start from here? I want to start from here because um, I'm actually I'm actually short at the moment. Okay, and I'm gonna by the time I scale to a lower time frame, you get it. But look at what I wrote here: one thousand pip drop. <laughs> 1,000 pip drop. I remember when I predicted this movie was two trader talks ago. I said the market was going to drop for 1,000 pips. We're technically almost there. So just to show you guys that I can see into the future. When it comes to Forex, right, I can see into the future. And guys, I use the most basic concepts. You know, like uh, people keep asking me, like, why do you keep talking about the Forex Mastery Program? Because it is the only, well, I won't say only, but it's the most realistic approach to this market. I called a 1,000 pip drop from here. We are already 60% through the move. As you can tell, we're already going to come here. So I can see 1,000 pip into the future. So I'm saying to myself, why don't I put together something that can actually help out? Because I notice all the guys... 95% of the traders that I come across always have one story or the other. How they've tried Forex, it didn't work out for them, blah, say, blah, say, blah, say, all of that, right? So I said to myself, why don't I put something together that can actually help people make money in this market? I cannot use this by myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm making all this money. I got money. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I decided to put together a program, which was the Forex Mastery program, and said to myself, you know what? Initially, it was free, but my team was like, sir, you can't give away this information for free, right? So we decided to put it at a very reasonable price, you know, put a reason, reasonable price tag to it, which was $99. And we put it, you know, for everybody to have, you know? So me putting it at 99 bucks and me always talking about it is just basically me coming here to help the forex industry right i'm here to help the forex industry and the way i talk about it people think oh this guy's just here to sell courses i don't care what you think guys by the time i'm done analyzing this market by the time you guys are done making money from this market you will know that dapo willis is the real deal and that he's actually here to help you guys so once again guys get the forex i have no ad i would tell you because it's the best i put it together i know my onions i know who the hell i am i predict 1000 pips into the market and if you want to be able to do this you have to grab the program there are no two ways about it i'm not here to sugarcoat anything i don't care what anybody says they can say he's selling courses guess what i'm selling courses but i'm also bloody making money in the market are you joking so who's gonna be at a disadvantage me or the guy who didn't buy the course i don't care you know what i'm saying so enough of all of that 1000 pip drop how did we get to this point? Why did I know? How did I know the market was going to drop a thousand pips? Very simple. But only the Forex Mastery students who understand once again. But let's go. Let, let's help the people who are still being stubborn about this, who don't want to use their number six to join the program. What do we do first, Forex Mastery students? We go on the monthly time frame. We see what exactly is happening. We look at the flow of the river. You see, AUD USC has been flowing south for a long time. So the ideology is for us to come on a higher time frame, identify the direction. Once we get a higher time frame direction, woof, the rest is history. We predicted this collapse of 1,000. This is not the first time we're getting a 1,000 pip move on AUD USC. We took it to, we bashed it to the downside. This was. Uh, when this trade happened, pan, this was during the, the, you know, that thing that happened where everybody had to stay in the house, right? So we dropped the market on his head. Even when the market started going up, it got here, we jumped, up, we took it all the way to the down, to the upside. We even dropped it back down here and now we're dropping. So in total, AUDUSD over the last 24 months, I've probably netted 3,000 plus pips. Easy. 
since the time that you know that thing that happened that made everybody stay at home you know that thing between that time and today maybe three thousand plus pips on AUD USD, bringing it down taking it all bringing it down even bringing that bringing it lower anywhere if the market wants to go like this we are here if, anywhere we see it we see it okay so at the moment what do we see so um monthly time frame is sliding to the downside i came on the monthly time frame and i said well the touch of this trend line is indicating further downside if we break 0.700 which is a round number where is the next available target 0.600 it is between two spaces between two major zones. don't forget the market all moves between zone to zone we move what between zone to zone so once we can identify a particular direction then we come and look at the zones in which they are in once we're able to break into or break below a particular zone the next level zone is is going to be most likely going to be our next level target so between these two zones is where you now look for trading opportunities so once we're done with that what do we do we come on a weekly time frame to see what exactly is happening guys my internet is a bit slow you know me I, right now i'm in africa man so the, <laughs> you know i love my i love my motherland any day anytime but you know you know how it gets sometimes man the internet can be a bit iffy just by looking at it guys you can tell that the where is the market coming to next here is so simple and straightforward so all that i needed to do is come on that four hour time frame it's so simple and straightforward guys I'm telling you, making money in this market is so easy. It's so easy. When you know how, when you're a Forex mastery student, it's easy. Guys, sorry, it's, it's, it's taking a bit of time. But while the charts are loading, I get to gist with you guys. Because I miss you guys very much, you know. I've been traveling. And guys, you know, in Africa, when you have money, everybody treats you like a king. <laughs> everybody treats you like a king. Not just in Africa, but everywhere in the world. Every People just try to treat you like a king because you got money, money. You know what I'm saying? Sorry guys, I think I don't know why my daily chart isn't losing. This is a bit embarrassing. Just give it some time. I might need to switch internet connections shortly. Alright, guys, hold it right there. Let me okay, it's 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 done already. Alright. But after this, I'm gonna switch my internet connection so that we can have you know this thing doesn't delay us. So what exactly happened? How did I perceive this market? So once we broke below this blue bar right about here, remember the previous analysis, I just simply drew a support level which was here. Okay, temporary support level okay and you guys know my entry i like um forex mastery students module 5 talks about my entries and exit long story short i shorted this market from here my first level target was what here my overall target is down here now short the market here first level target always at the 100 percent retracement as the market dropped got here i moved my stop losses from that were above here all the way to break even and then i closed out 50 percent of my trade now i said because at this point the market can do anything and look the market did attempt if not that this market was in a downtrend we would have rallied all the way back to the upside but the higher time frame always wins right so we continue pointing lower we broke lower all the way to the downside and then we started to have some form of a consolidation around here now i keep telling you guys don't forget i still have 50 percent of this trade open my overall target is here so you do the math i am on course for a thousand pips although not the same amount of lot size that i entered the trade with but trust me guys half of what i have left is still a lot okay now we came all the way down here and i kept on telling traders i said listen traders i'm like yo listen one thing about this game is don't rush don't be in a hurry look at where we started dropping all the way to the dance everybody like oh my god i'm gonna miss it no no the market if the market is going to drop a thousand pips the best believe it's not just going to fall out of the sky it will come to a point whereby it will consolidate last week um last week over the last 10 days the market so this is a daily time frame so if i do one one two three four five six seven eight nine so for the last nine days we've pretty much been consolidating now because of the fact that i have the advantage of looking at things from a higher time frame perspective once again shout out to the forex mastery students who are able to zoom out the advantage of the forex mastery program is it allows us to see everything so over the last nine days when traders were blowing their accounts we were not trading because we knew that the market was, because for every major move, there must be a consolidation. In fact, before the market even, I already said to myself that between here and here, there must be a consolidation. So even before the consolidation happened, I was expecting it. 
Okay, I'm not here to brag, but I'm here to brag because I cannot have all this information. At my Do you know what it is to be able to predict the Forex market? This market is my ATM machine. Okay, it is my ATM machine. Any day I wake up and I don't have money and I want to make money, not to say I wake up and I don't, but in the event that maybe, God forbid, anything happens, I could wake up one day and open up this thing. I will be a millionaire by the end of the month. That is a very liberating feeling. Okay, so for those of you guys who want to be able to have that kind of liberating feeling, get the program. I will keep telling you, get it. The link is in the description or around here. There's no any two ways about it. You have to get it if you want to stay ahead. Long story short, this consolidation, I told traders on Twitter, I said, I like consolidations. Why? Because consolidations give people, people get scared when they see pullbacks. I am happy when I see pullbacks because pullbacks give me a chance to jump into the market again. So apart from this trade that I have, which is 50% open, I've now been able to jump on another one. I'll put a screenshot. I've now been able to jump on another one, which is about here, which, oh my goodness, sorry, uh, which is about here, which would eventually be able to help me catch the remaining, you know, bearish move all the way to the downside so long story short without any further ado AUD USD next level target is 0.600 this is the next major support level if you look left good next next major support level and also this is a what a round number this is what a round number so i'm going to be watching this trade as we make our way you know to the downside i'm going to be locking in my profit i've actually locked in my profit at about all point i'm going to drop a screenshot here as well so that you guys can see exactly how i'm trading so if it's so simple and straightforward right i can't share my entry and exit strategy with you guys because that is proprietary to the forex mastery program but as you can see i am currently short in this market as we speak You never know. All right, guys. So sorry about that. I had to just quickly change my internet connection because I was just getting sick of it. So this is a lower time frame. What it looks like. I'm expecting this guy to bleed further to the downside. I have no doubt in my mind we're going to come lower. So enough about AUD USD. Let's jump onto the euro to see what exactly is happening. I want to touch some pairs pretty quickly. Okay, I have some juicy stuff for you guys. I want to touch some pairs pretty quickly. So um, change internet connection. Everything seems to be moving. Seems to be moving pretty fine. What happened to all my drawings? Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So since the drawings are off, let's quickly do a, a quick analysis. And then I want you guys to see how quickly you can do an analysis once all oh, drawings are here. Just took some time to, to come up. Simple, easy stuff, guys. Simple, easy stuff. So for the euro, it's pretty simple. I mean, next level target for, I already told you guys that next level target for euro is 0 0.9. 500 i told you i called it here live on dapsy radio okay so even before we're coming all the way down here we have actually hit that region but what exactly is happening to the euro i would not be surprised if we see a reversal on the euro um at 0.9600 right about here but however before a reversal will happen i'm expecting a double bottom so this guy would see guys let me explain something a little trick about forex right the market doesn't just reverse this is what a lot of people fail to realize. It will give you clues. Let me give you an example. You see, for this bullish engulfing candle to form right about here, if you go and check, now I'm not, I don't have the time to go and check. I haven't checked, but I can bet to you nine out of 10 times. In order for this bullish engulfing candle to form and for this reversal to happen out of here, if you go and check your four hour, one hour or 30 minute time frame, you would have seen this is definitely a double bottom on a lower time frame. What am I trying to explain here? What I'm trying to say is before the market will reverse, it will give you clues. So that trade you want to place, don't be scared. If the market stops you out, you are just playing wrong. Don't say, oh, the market reversed on me. If the market wants to reverse, the market will almost certainly give you a double bottom or a double top. And this is why I have the confidence to tell to, to be able to shut the euro back into this region. I can smell a potential reversal around here. I'm not going to lie to you. However, we will first of all come to support level. He needs to come. He will tell me, say, Mr. Dapsy, I want to reverse. 
And how does it tell me it wants to reverse buy double bottom? When the euro sp spun around here, I knew it was going to spin around here. First of all, because my blue bar was already here. Secondly, on a lower time frame, I started to see rejection around this region and then a double bottom formation on like a four hour or one hour time frame. Now, when you see a chart reversal pattern or at a major level, pay attention to it and then I saw this bullish engulfing candle of course I knew a retracement was going to happen and what did I do I stayed away from the market although I knew the overall time frame was coming down however I said it is time for a retracement let us see what happens and truth be told we pulled back into this region this is actually a 50 Fibonacci pullback this is known as the Willis zone okay very clear cut thing that happened okay a b c d will come and complete down here first if we take out 0 0.9600 next level target will be down here 0 0.934 which I'm not quite certain we might get there okay because if I well i don't know how far this thing wants to break lower i don't even know the, the honest truth is we're currently trading in no man's land so it's difficult for me to actually say well the honest truth is if we break 0 0.9500 guys the next level target from what i can see if i clone this will be about here okay which is open not point eight five hundred okay so we might definitely see a black bar somewhere in the middle which is here so usually what tends to happen in between two major zones, there will always be that stubborn guy. There's usually a black line there. That black line, pay attention to it because as you can see, the black line between these two major zones, the market respected it. As you can see, we, we were coming down here, but we came and played around it. It acted as some form of a resistance around here, even pulled back into here properly before we started to drop all the way to the downside. So, Forex Mastery students, you know how to plot your black lines in between two major levels. It's on the Forex Mastery program. Use your Fibonacci to calculate the difference between the two levels. Drop it right there in the middle. You know what I mean. I can't really expose everything right about here. So, so if we're able to break here okay um i would be expecting this market to break here and come back to this black black bar somewhere around here but i don't really know i'm not really sure i can't say for certain this is a major level so price action at this level will really dictate what is going to happen unfortunately the euro has left the station ideally my entries would have been somewhere about here um my entries would have been somewhere about here okay should adjust this my entries would have been here and my level targets would have been here although like i said get the forex mastery program so that once these trades happen you don't have to wait for me to release the video you can make money and then when i come on the on the channel we can then discuss things in detail right get the program the link is going to be in the description as always okay so i can tell you for free euro usc next level target 0.600 that's enough for the euro um so the major support level is going to tell us what's going to happen if we break it we come here if we stand here reverse out to the upside so that's the euro if you're short take out your money here we've done euro aud usd let's talk about gbp usd because this is the only pair at the moment that we can potentially jump into so the aggressive traders are already short i'm not exactly an aggressive trader traders who are short are already short from here i'm a conservative trader so i must i must consider this fake this week as well okay uh i'll be shorting this market by the end of today once i'm done recording this video um i need this market to break this level about for me to sell a gbp usd we will need to take out this bar about here okay we're currently testing this bar at the moment um if we can break here i'm just going to make this a bit smaller give me a sec guys um i'm just going to make this a bit smaller so that it doesn't look like the level is is as big as it claims to be I will make this a bit smaller so that we have some space and i'm just going to extend this to the right hand side and then we come on so guys you see so simple so simple so simple so so simple simply and shorty adjust this a bit lower for this bar there take it to the right hand side and there we go okay so i just come back to the daily time frame good so that we see you see everything is looking very sweet and nice <laughs> everything is looking very sweet and nice so gbp usd is so simple and straightforward next level target for gbp usd if we broke up break where current level our current target 
if we break our current minor support at the moment next level target will be 1.0700 uh, i'm not short at the moment i'll be waiting for a clear break short positions will come beneath here my stop losses above here and then if i just bring this a bit lower somewhere around here this will be my next level target right so my stop losses id so this risk to reward is isn't so great but what i'm going to do here is something very simple let me teach you guys a trick so a lot of people don't really like they say oh mr willis we don't like trading on higher time frames because the ugh, i don't have the capital first of all you don't need a lot of capital to trade this the issue is what is your risk in what is your risk in ratio to your to your to your um to your capital think about it if you have a 500 dollars account all you need to and you know that your stop loss is pretty wide reduce your risk yes that's all it takes reduce your lot size if you have a lot size let's say 1.00 now let's say 100 pips of 1.00 now maybe is for the sake of calculation let's say 100 pips of 1.00 now is ten thousand dollars and you have a ten thousand dollar account why would you use 1.00 lot size for a trade that has a 100 pips stop loss no you reduce it to either 0.3 or 0.2 so that you can accommodate that trade and still keep your risk relatively low that's how you do it so this way even if it's a ten thousand dollar account one thousand dollar all you need to do is reduce your lot size so that you can have a wider stop loss and now you're probably saying to yourself the second thing i get is um okay but the risk to reward is not all that first of all I would rather have a smaller risk to reward as long as I'm profitable. As long as I'm guaranteed to make money. This is what a lot of people don't realize. I would rather make 3%, 6%, 10% of my account as long as it is guaranteed. Now, there's even another way to go about that. I'll teach you guys. Hmm. Should I share it here on YouTube? I should probably keep it for the... How can you ensure that even trades that have a wide stop loss, you still make a lot of money from it? How can you turn a one-to-one a -one risk to reward to a five-to-one? I'll update that on the Forex Mastery program. Forex Mastery students remind me about that. I can't share that here. Anyways, long story short, I will be making, I won't just be making a 1.5 to 1 on this trade. Best believe not. There's something else I'm definitely going to add to this equation to make sure that I am still able to what make more money between here to here. You see the idea between the idea behind all I'm trying to teach you guys here is this. I like to find space, guaranteed space of market movement, a vacuum that I know the market is definitely going to move. Once I can find that space, I cannot enter that space and whatever strategy I decide, I use it and I trade in the direction in which the market is going to flow within that space and in this case, it wants to come lower. Rules of engagement, we need to break this yellow bar. So, um, GBPUSD, we have a potential uh, 1.04 to 1.0, 1.1. Oh, my is looking serious. So, is this like an 800 pip? No, no, no. I need to calculate this thing properly. So, this is 106 and this is 61. Wow, that's a huge drop. Am I seeing like a 300 pip drop? Is that what GBPUS is telling me? Well, I do. 300 pip drop, man. You guys, you know what's funny, yeah? So I've been selling GBPUSD. I've been collecting the, I'm predicting the collapse. You guys know I, 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 I broke this market down. I broke this market on its head down. You know what's funny? I've been shorting GBPUSD and I've been shorting GBPUSD, but then I forgot. I made a lot of money shorting GBPUSD without a doubt. But guys, see the silly thing I did? I forgot that I had physical pounds in my UK bank account. Jeez. So while I was like, yeah, yeah, I was shorting it, making money, I actually forgot that I actually had physical pounds sterling in my UK account. So by the time I realized, I was like, okay, cool, let me quickly now change it and transfer it to dollars. Before, I used to have 1,000 pounds before was $1,400. Now, 1,000 pounds is 1,000, what, $100. Can you imagine? 1,000 pounds before was $1,500. Now, it's only $1,100. So I have definitely um that 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 change in price has definitely affected my physical 
pounds cash button. I just look at it on the bright side. I made a killing shot, shot in GBP USD. It was a silly mistake for me. Anyways, these things happen, guys. It happens, you know. So it's one of those things. So guys, that's GBP USD in a nutshell. We're about to collapse. Give it some time. Once we once we enter, um, I'll be updating you guys on my Twitter page. Um, next thing I want to talk about is gold, right? So gold's very similar situation. Guys, now guys, gold. Hmm. Few of gold had did to. Hmm. We shorted gold here. We were expecting it to come all the way down here. Baba came here and started reversing for no reason. But guess what, guys? It's cool because all we did was we zoomed out. All we did was what? We zoomed out. People were like, gold did yeah, it's a lot. We just zoomed out. Last, last, what happened? The thing, all, all, all gold just wanted to do was just to pull back into trend line. That's all. Third touch, and this is the third touch of the trend line. But, but gold is coming down to 1.61430. Take it from me, Swagger Daps International, Dapsy Radio. Gold is coming down to what one is coming down to one six one four. Tell your father, tell your mother, tell your banker, and tell your favorite mentor that has been scamming you. That that only really said that gold is coming down to one six one four point three zero. What you want to play with the third touch of the trend line? Actually, this is not the third touch. This is the fourth touch. But inshallah, we'll come down. We'll come down. Guys, you see how fun it is trade forex market if you know how to do it. So I'll be shutting gold at the daily candle close today. Actually, I need this market to do something for me. I need you, Mr. Gold. This is a black bar. I need gold to close below this black bar. Okay. Close below this back black bar. My first level target will be here. So my short positions will be somewhere about uh give me some short positions here. First level target, 50% retracement. Take out 50% of my position. My overall target for gold is actually 1534, okay? This doesn't look like a big risk to reward, but like I said to you guys, first of all, get in on the bigger risk to reward. Get in on the small 1 to 2, 1 to 3. Once you have gotten in, hmm? once you have gotten in, cool, lock in that first trade. Lock in, move your stop losses past break even. Now you have money to execute a second trade so within this move now i'll now look for another trade and jump into that trade which will now ultimately increase my risk to reward i don't know if i'm making any sense so i will have two trades within a particular move i'll first of all go into the first trade conservatively because my primary focus is capital preservation get into the trade first of all once i get into the trade then once the market now starts to show me profit i now have the financial leverage i have the financial authority i now have the psychological authority now my mind is at peace because the first trade is already in profit once i'm able to lock in the first one then I can now look to enter the second one, which will now have what a smaller stop loss, but a wider take profit region. It's usually the second one that I make a lot of money off of. But the first trade is for me to just, you know, I just, you know, what I'm saying? I just end me, you no know, be like, say, I don't enter, you understand? Let me just enter. Because the honest truth is, I mean, my, my, my executions are on four hour time frames. And sometimes I get a, sometimes, I won't lie to you, sometimes I have a clear 10 to 1 risk to reward. But there's sometimes my risk to reward is 3 to 1, 2.5 to 1. But it is guaranteed. So I take them. And then I just say, well, as the market is coming down towards my take profit, you understand? As the market is coming down to my take profit, hopefully I find, hopefully I find another, um, Hopefully, I find another um, entry that I can potentially use to now add to my existing trade. Provided that that first trade, my stop losses have been moved toward break even. So let me just clean this chart up for you guys a little bit, so that you guys can see. I don't. I hate to complicate my charts. So it's very simple. Now, some of you are asking, why didn't you sell inside here? Why didn't no? I like to wait for a bounce off of resistance, and you can see this black bar. The, let me tell you, this black bar is the range of is the bottom of the range between this blue and this this black. We can easily stand on this black and fly back up and say gold can just be like mm, I've I've gone back to a range. So I need the market. So the market went back into the range to test the range. Now anytime the market goes back into a range to test the range, don't sell inside that range. Wait for the market to come back out. Or I'm begging you people in the name of God. Oh. Wait for the market to come back out of the range because that market can get to the bottom of the range 
and turn around that's what i'm saying i'm waiting for a daily candle close i don't care how much you want to reduce my risk to reward my own is i want a guaranteed trade i won't say because i want to get in early i will now get into a trade whereby you know the market now and i'm not able to sleep well at night show me a very clear cut scenario and i will trade it but when you're not sure then i'm going to leave you alone so once again guys gbp usd is lining up any moment from now daily candle close four hour candle close once we finish new york session um, I usually like to trade Monday evenings because usually in the morning the market is a bit shaky. Um, usually tend to have a lot of pullbacks. By the Monday evening, that's when you the market is ready to Monday. All the profit taking from Friday and the adjustments from the, the weekend and everything has done, has taken place. You know, London and New York session on Monday. Um, by the time we are closing for the New York session is when I will now say, okay, the market is now settled and now has a proper direction. That's when I will jump on it. So daily candle close and I'm good to jump on these sell trades. I'm already short AUDUSD. So once again, guys, gold. You heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Next level target for gold, 1.614.30. We break that. We have next level target at 1.534. Once we're able to do that, I'm good. I'm done. As we, as, as we speak at the moment, we are currently at... Um, we are currently... Um, uh, earlier on, maybe two months ago, we were up 68%. When I did an interview with Jeffrey Benson, but, uh, but right now the dollar is trending. We're currently up, I think, 112 percent. If these trades pick up the way they should pick up, I'll probably for the year I'll probably I'll probably close this year with about 160 percent return on investment, which is wild. My investors will love me. They thought they loved me when I was up 64, 60, 68 percent. They thought they loved me. Huh. By the time next time I'm getting on the private jet back to Doha, the results will blow their mind they've been sending me emails uh hi chris you're probably watching this video chris is the chief investment officer for the hedge fund that i trade for he watches all my video chris once again thank you guys for the opportunity thank you guys for giving us a lot of money to trade um and as you can see we've actually flipped the account over 50 million dollars as we speak we're pushing uh, i need to check the balance sheet we're definitely well over 58 million dollars return on investment for them so it's a pleasure to work with you guys chris uh so yeah once again guys thank you for staying to the very end of this video uh chris the last time i was them they wanted to they, they wanted to offer us 500 million dollars half a billy imagine doubling half a billy guys i will never trade again <laughs> once again guys so that's it um that's the rules of engagement guys if you, you see how this thing is easy get the forex mastery program get it get it get it you can see that your 99 dollars you are paying for your course doesn't impact my life in any way i'm calling these trades thousands of thousands of pips millions of dollars i'm here to help you guys if you haven't grabbed the program once again get it click the link down here around here go ahead subscribe my targets my my the trades are first of all aud usd i'm already short you guys missed it um next level target for aud usd is all the way down at 0.600 as you can see gbp usc i'm waiting for us to break this yellow bar next level target 1.0614 and then gold um, next level target 1614. If we break that, you know what's going to happen next. BTC is moving a bit sideways. It's looking heavy. But uh, if I know Bitcoin very well, hmm. if I know Bitcoin very well, no um, more. Guys, it's not looking good. I don't like coming to Bitcoin because it breaks my heart. I know the way everybody was so hyped on BTC. Ah, man, BTC wants to be. Man, guys, if Bitcoin, if we break current support at $20,000, next level target is $12,500. You heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Forex Mastery Students, Simple Straight. I think I'm going to work on the Forex Mastery program. Forex Mastery 2.0, maybe. I'm flirting with the idea. Or should I just update the, the current one? I want to add a crypto course and a stock trading course so you can trade US stocks and all that. You know, I know how to trade everything. It's Dapsy, man. I do everything, man. Shit. <laughs> okay, guys, that's about it. Let me not bore you guys too much. I need to go spend time with my family and have fun. I love you guys very much. Once again, grab the program if you haven't grabbed it. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Uh, stick around to the very end of this video. I have something to tell you guys in my other screen. Now, let us go. Love you. Bye. Thank you guys for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. The most important thing is I hope you guys learn something and i hope you guys are gonna go take all this analysis and go make some money because 
I can't be talking here for 30 minutes and you guys don't actually place those trades. Feel free, feel confident. As you can see, I've broken it down in the most simplest form. You have nothing to worry about. This is the most realistic approach to the Forex market and you have, what I say, nothing to worry about, okay? Once again, guys, it's Dapper Willis. If you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery Program, the link is going to be around here somewhere. Shout out to Infinox, which is my broker of preference. The link to Infinox is going to be in the description as always. And I'll catch you guys in my subsequent video. Actually, I think you guys should follow me on Instagram. Um, you guys get to see a lot of Nigeria and all the stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, all, all the events and all the activities that I'm going to be up to, right? So Instagram is the best place to catch me. So yeah, once again, peace out, guys. I love you very much. And hopefully I get to shoot more videos while I'm in Nigeria. Once again. Bye, bye, bye. Adios, amigo.